Good morning, Grantsville Elementary. This is the Bulldog News for Thursday, January 12, 2017. I am Lexi. And I am Sophia. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty, and justice for all. Today in Lost and Found, we have a black and red sweatshirt with baseball in the front, a gray and white, or gray and red sweatshirt, pants, a blue and green camouflage shirt with the dude on the back, a brown sweatshirt, and a pink and purple scarf. Please remember to put your name and in, or initials in your school items so if they get lost, they can be returned to you. Next Monday, January 16th, is no school. There will be a PTO meeting Tuesday, January 17th at 6 o'clock. Thursday, January 19th, will be a three-hour early dismissal. Book Talk. And now let's hear from Cadence Johnson about a great book from the library. I'm going to talk about a book called Coyotes. They can trout for for hours. A rhyme for coyotes. Coyotes can pounce on their prey. Coyotes can pounce when they play. Excuse me, what time is it? It's time for lunch. 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 It's lunch time. Lunch today is breakfast for lunch. Pancakes and sauce pat patties, or turkey and cheese, or corn dog, tater tots, and mixed fruit, fruit. Juice cup and milk. Friday's breakfast will be cereal, yogurt, peach cup, apple juice, and milk. Today's weather will be a high of 56 and a low of 36 with a 40% chance of precipitation. Sports news. In basketball action, Grantsville Bulls won against accident with a score of 16 to 14. Today in history, in 1981, Below 35 degrees, Chester, Massachusetts, it was a state record. Yay! Happy birthday yesterday to Rachel Brenneman. Remember, if we announce your birthday on the morning news, please stop by the school store to get your birthday present. Quote of the day, if you don't have time to do it right, when will you have time to do it again? Tune in Friday for more Bulldog News. Bye.